Carrie Ann Stout, founder and CEO of Finko Bar Exam Coaching. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12, Bar Prep, but make it festive. Today, we are going to do a tour of Vinco headquarters. I'm just hanging out with my, my buddy over here. Got the Christmas tree over here. I am super excited about this video because this home office has been a long time coming. I've been working from home for basically the last four years-ish, um, and I had a very, very, very small apartment until six months ago, and so having this space for Vinco to grow is is just been really amazing, um, and you are seeing it at the time where it's decorated for Christmas, of course, because Vlogmas. Um, I'm also going to give you a tour of the first floor. Since I work from home, that's really like my break room, my cafeteria, all of all of that good stuff. So I thought I'd show you the decorations up there as well. All right, you ready? Let's get started. All right, welcome to Vinco headquarters. I am going to show you around the office, point out some of my favorite things, and show you how it is all decorated for Christmas. So it is in the basement, so we're going to come down the last couple of stairs here. <clears throat> and off to the side, I have some pictures of Vinco students and coaches there, where I toss my mail and a little Christmas decoration from my friend's daughter. That Santa over there was my grandpa's. So coming around, we have a door to the outside. And this is my little cozy corner. I like that chair, it's super comfortable. One of my many dry erase boards. And I just have a bunch of little knickknack decorations around. I have a ton of art down here. The Awkward Yeti is one of my favorite comics, um, particularly the Heart and Brain cartoon, and that's one of, um, one of his cartoons. Coming over to my desk area, this, oh, this is so funny. Um, so I have a dry erase board behind my desk and those lights really give a very bad glare. So I hung this from the ceiling and have it clipped up with a hair clip so that when I need to write on the dry erase board, that dry erase board, um, there's no glare. <laughs> so back here, every day when I come into my office, I trip over these wires. Uh, there is no other option, so I'm gonna try not to trip now. The first thing I do when I come down here is turn on these lights and we can check out. I have some West Wing stuff. This is a quote from the West Wing. Got a little nutcracker action going on here. Another Awkward Yeti heart and brain cartoon. More up there, more over there. I have some Parks and Rec quotes going around here, and we got the snitch from Harry Potter. These are uh, string lights. Got my RBG paraphernalia, some more West Wing quotes, and then some more heart and brain, some Christmas decorations. Up here is another cartoon. This is Strange Planet. Um, this is maybe my favorite cartoon. I'll read it to you. It's a guy, I think he's a soccer player. He looks like he got hurt. It says, where is your pain? The guy who got hurt said, in my emotions. The medic says, I don't understand. And the guy who got hurt said, no one ever does. It's, it really is my favorite cartoon. Um, and that's Strange Planet. Over here, we have a really big printer filing cabinet. This is my desk from the other side. And then looking up at the stairs where I came down. So my desk, I can make it a standing desk. Um, there's my fancy microphone. Over there we have a super sweet note from Coach Miriam from when I was having a bad day. I have some art here from my friend Erica at Flux Imagery. She's an amazing watercolor artist. You should check her out. I put these two chairs together by myself. I was super proud of myself for doing that. And we have some more Christmas decorations. Over here, we have a fireplace that I can plug in when it gets cold. And my 2021 vision board. See anything on there that you might want to do? 
Up here, I have another dry erase board. If you're counting, that makes three. I really love dry erase boards and they really help me think, so I put a lot of them up. Now, here we have two more desks. Sadly, I am the only person who works at Vinco uh, full time. Everyone else is contractors right now, but I do have lots of other friends who are business owners who sometimes like to come over and work with me, at least pre-COVID, that was the plan. So I do have these two other desks set up here, um, and I hope that they'll be able to be occupied soon. This is my Harry Potter wall. You've probably caught on by now that I love Harry Potter. Um, Coach Steve got me the wand organizer, and his wife got me the mirror. Um, my mom got me that Harry Potter book and I just, I love all of it. Love it so much. This is Igor. He is the twin to Evelyn who's upstairs and you've maybe seen her in another video. For some reason, my godfather thought that I was responsible enough to take care of this plant. Um, and I assure you that I'm not. In this chair, we have a giant pig squishmallow. That is for coach Steve. It is his Christmas present. Shh, don't tell him. Um, we have some more parks and rec paraphernalia over here. This is from coach Steph and it is one of my most prized possessions. <laughs> over here we have some vintage Disney gear that actually was my husband's and he is allowing me to have here. And this is a Tinkerbell Christmas print I got last year in Disney. Coming this way. Here's the TV where I watch Harry Potter while I grade. Going down here after Christmas is a display case and I have a pretty big Funko Pop collection and that is where it's going to live. So looking from this way, we have a closet and now you can see I'm over by the TV. That table came from my mother-in-law, which I love. It is just so rustic, it makes me happy. Um, and here is my ruggable with Minnie Mouse on it. How freaking cute. I have another one with Mickey I'll show you in a minute. Here are some Christmas ornaments for my mini tree that I haven't put on yet. Over here we have what used to be my set for filming in my old office. It's really cute and look really nice in the background, but it's just not practical anymore. I need a dry erase board um, behind me. So that's why we don't have it. So now this is just seating. And of course we have <laughs> this Christmas tree. This Christmas tree exists because last year I thought we were gonna be moving in January. So I didn't want to decorate for Christmas. So I bought this little tree just to put up and then we didn't move until July. <laughs> but now it's perfect. It goes down here so well. I have my Gryffindor stocking over here. Then this part of the room, I like this part because this is open space where I can do like yoga um, and just like hang out and relax if I need to do like stretching and things like that. And it just makes it feel like nice and wide open. Here's the Mickey rug, which matches the mini rug. Again, these are from Ruggable. Here I have my bookshelf and some of my diplomas bookshelf and we have another closet and some more. This is my admission to practice law in New York. I'm no longer admitted because I let my license lap because I don't practice law, but that's from when I got admitted. Here's my law school degree and my undergrad degree with my bachelor's of art in modern languages and cultures. So yes, kids, you too can go to law school with whatever degree you have. All right, so back here, I'm by the door to the garage, I'm backed up all the way against it, and this is what the office looks like from this side. And up here we have some Tinkerbell art, a place where I hang my coats, and a humidifier because, or excuse me, a dehumidifier because it gets a little damp down here. And then we can come take a look all the way from the other side. This is what the desk looks like from this direction. Most of the furniture down here is from Wayfair, um, including these chairs and that ottoman and my desk chair. So this is what the back side of the desk looks like. And this 
this is what the whole office looks like from behind my desk. So that's it. I love this office. I dreamed of having a space like this. It's been amazing for my productivity. Amazing. Um, just to have grown into such a space. And I look forward to the day where I can have some people here hanging out with me while I work. Now we are going to move on to part two of the tour, which is upstairs because it really is an extended part of the office. Um, first we have this brand new Mickey mat, which you can tell is new because it still has a tag on it. <laughs> Next, I think I got this wreath from my mom. This is on the back of our front door. So these are the decorations right in our front entryway is that wreath and that Mickey mat there. I love them both. They're so super cute. Next we have our first of two Christmas villages. <laughs> this is the one that has the snow and it is on, I think that's my mom's hope chest that we keep blankets and stuff in. Um, and so this is my grandparents' Christmas village. My parents have a similar one, but this one I got um, after my grandparents passed away. So it's really special. And I have a few more pieces in another part of the house. That Merry Christmas sign that is behind it, I got at Target a couple of years ago, um, and it was my husband's idea to plop it back there, and I thought it looked really cute, so we decided to keep it there. Fun fact, I prop the, um, the little houses up on top of their boxes and then cover them with the snow to give the display a little bit more depth. Here we have my snow day sign. This also came from Target a couple of years ago. Um, it's huge and there's nowhere to hang it. So I just put it on the floor under this window and next to this chair that has some pillows and a few stuffed animals. These are all Squishmallows. I told you TikTok made me do it. I'm obsessed with them. Um, look at the little earmuffs on the snowman and the penguin. They're just the cutest things. They're so soft and squishy and so festive and they make me happy. So what if we can't sit in the chair? Nobody's out there anyway. More stuffed animals. These are more like the traditional ones. I've had many of these for a long time. That little bear in the back with the hat says like Carrie Ann's first Christmas bear or something like that. That Mickey and Minnie came from Target, I think think or maybe I got them in Disney I can't tell and the little gingerbread men on the left hand side came from CVS now we're gonna look at my table I have some decorations here from CVS as well both of the little mechanical ones um this is Minnie and Mickey hanging some Christmas lights and that lights up and goes around in a circle and makes a ton of noise on the other side, it's a little camping, ice skating rink situation, and that also makes noise. And then we have the um, mantle, which is decorated with fake garland from Balsam Hill. There's a little Tinkerbell, two little Tinkerbell ornaments hiding in there, a little woodland fairy that she is. And then, of course, we have our stockings. So that is how our fireplace is set up. Now we have the piece de resistance, the Christmas tree. This is new this year. It's from Balsam Hill. Um, I, I'm obsessed with it. There's really, there's really no other way to put it. Um, I just, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It's not too packed with the branches. It's not too Charlie Brown, you know, Christmas tree looking. It's like the perfect fullness. It literally took me six seconds to string up by myself. Oh, now I'm zooming in on my favorite ornaments. That's my bunny because Easter is my favorite holiday since I was a kid. I have several of these Tinkerbell ornaments in different positions and they're beautiful. And then my grandma, my mom's mom had a snowman collection and I'm very obsessed with snowmen. So I have a lot of different snowman ornaments and decorations around. But yeah, as I was saying, I put this tree together by myself. It came pre-lit um, and I literally did it in like 10 minutes and I just think it looks so beautiful with my little Tinkerbell star on top. I'm obsessed. 
This is the second of the two villages I was mentioning. Um, these are also my grandparents. You see the little snowman decorations in there. And um, these are by my stairs going up to the second floor. I ran out of snow, so we don't have any there, but I might get some more. You never know. Here is a laid up snowman that I actually think I got as part of like a benefit. I think they were donating the proceeds to something. Um, it was a little kid who was selling it. And this is on my kitchen table on a little snowflake mat. Over here on my great grandfather's desk, um, my mom got me these little love thing here that you can interchange the O. So I had it as a turkey and a pumpkin. Then we have some more snowman candles. Over here, this was my grandmother's nativity scene. It's giant and it's super fragile. So we just put it up in the kitchen next to the stove out of the way because I'm super afraid of knocking it over. I have these little uh, Christmas words hanging on all of the cabinet. I've had these for a million years. I think I got them at the Christmas tree shop. Um, they've come with me everywhere I've moved. These are little tree trunks, the Grinch and the snowman that were hand painted that I got at a craft fair. I just think they're adorable. They're in the corner um, on my counter. Here are reindeer salt and pepper shakers. Over here, those are little like uh, wine charms that you put on wine glasses and a Grinch towel. We've got some more of my little Christmas words hanging. Mm. This is on our island. That's a little snowman cheese plate, a little decorative reindeer dish, and some snowman plates. That's the last of the hanging Christmas words. And then over here we have, these are so cute. I got these this year. They're little I don't know, mittens for the Christmas or for the refrigerator. I don't know what to call them, but they're adorable. Got a couple of little snowman hanging up there as well. And now we'll come look at the other side of what I have on the island. These are new. I got them from LTD Commodities, I think. That home, the O was also interchangeable. And so that's all on the island. Last but certainly not least, these are the stairs that are going up to the second floor. We have some garland that my mom gave me and then two sets of Mickey and Minnie's. This set definitely came from the parks. I got them last year. These I think I maybe got at CVS or maybe at Target. I can't remember, but that's the full shot from there. And that wraps up the tour of upstairs. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing Binco headquarters where I work every day. I realized that I did not show you today's Christmas shirt. It says resting Grinch face. <laughs> this is probably my favorite Christmas shirt. I'm not going to lie. I should have worn it for a video where I would be, um, where it would be on camera more. But I needed to prove to you that I am in fact wearing a different Christmas shirt for every day of Vlogmas because I do have 24 plus or 25 plus Christmas shirts. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow with another new video. In the meantime, to learn more about Benko, you can find us at BenkoPrep.com or to schedule a free bar prep consult. If you're thinking about working with Benko for an upcoming bar exam, you can email Sheena at info at BenkoPrep.com and she'll help you out with that. So till the next video, have a good one.